Alrighty, this is me about to solo the Goblin Camp as a level 4 tavern brawling open hand dark urge. I got my boys with me there, but uh, we're gonna send them to camp. I'm not gonna need backup here, and I don't wanna put my homies in danger, you know? I've got my Deathstalker mantle. That's really the only piece of gear here that's important, but I've also got the Bracers of Defense for extra AC. I don't plan on giving people chances to hit me, period, but uh, they're nice just in case things don't go out perfectly. We'll just follow our first victim into this room. And <laughs> where do you think you're going, sir? One down, umpteen to go. We're gonna use an improvised melee weapon here called Gribbo. And uh, I'm gonna bring her into this room. And we're just gonna cancel out before we actually slam her to the ground. That way we haven't actually hurt her. She's still scared because she sees the corpse. But nah, fuck her. And truly, I didn't need to stealth kill those two. It's just, uh, just kind of fun. I like dragging people around. Having high strength just allows for ridiculous shit in this game. But this is where the fun begins. Um, soloing this is all about knowing your limits as a monk, which, uh... I think that's kind of cool. You just have to adopt a monk mentality to, uh, to your limits. So yeah, that's uh, that's probably going to be her only chance to hit me. Because now I'm invisible. And we just run away from where they last saw us and end our turn. Look at these fools. Look at these fools. I ain't see shit. Go immediately back into turn based. You'll see at that bottom left corner we still got martial arts on I'm Strike. That's our bonus action version. Um, I like to start off my rounds with that normally when I've got it because if you start combat with an attack you don't always get it. As much as I love the game, some of the interactions are just jank. There we go. Another one bites the dust. And, uh, this is super calm. We'll just continue taking these guys one by one, and then we'll head to Ragslin. Back to turn base before they can heal themselves. Not that that guy really needed it. Maybe he's just praying, uh, saying thanks to God because he thinks I'm gone. Pigs have fun. And fools. And I'm not sure how the game is determining who gets surprised here and who doesn't. But... By the end of this, everybody will be getting surprised, and it's just going to make life so easy. <laughs> I don't know why she threw the potion on the ground instead of just drinking it, but okay. If that was an attempt to reveal me, that was actually a big brain move. Well, she missed anyway. Ooh. Yeah, I'll just toss it on gut. So now we got some surprised people. And oh! Oh no. This complicates things a bit, but uh, we're, we probably still got it. Alright, they're all permanently hostile now. I can't just leave and come back. Which was not the plan, anyway. 
I do cheese, but I do cheese with honor. Supposedly. I don't see why that was an opportunity attack, honestly. I, I had to move an inch. But fuck off. Alright. Anyone? Just run away. Gather some distance because there's so many people not surprised. But okay, so Guts had more than one chance to hit me. I admit that didn't go to plan. That's why the braces of defense are nice to have. Things won't always go perfect, even if you are. And uh, she kind of looking like a victim right now. Right, yeah, the rest of this room is free. Because they all go down in two hits, except for uh, one of them. It's like that one with the helmet, second to last in turn order, has 31 HP. So in theory, two punches could do it, but it has to do like max damage. You should take a look. Instead of worrying about that, I'm gonna just toss these motherfucking hands. <laughs> Surprise round. Everybody's surprised. This is just free. The rest of this room is uh, inevitable. And Chronomancy. Don't have my bonus action, so, uh. Hmm. Just get this freebie. Oh! Interesting. Normally the uh, cape doesn't proc if you start combat with a kill, but, uh. We got lucky here, I suppose. Thought I would just have to, uh, flay or blow somebody. But nope, didn't need to burn the key. I love it. work. It looks like nobody else is going to be entering, entering the room, so uh, we can pull off a little short rest once we've got these last three smucks killed. Boom. <laughs> he was running from that kick. So you got him surprised. Just throw a punch here. Ooh! Got lucky on the damage, okay. Brother Bear, I am not trying to run all the way around. There we go. Just, yeah. And we're golden, again. And there's one more victim. I even gave him a chance to detect me. Yeah! 
Alright, so we've got two key left. Time to get going. Um, but we'll go ahead and short rest because we may need a bit more than that in case things go suboptimally in this next room. If everyone else minds their business, I'll be fine. And I'm gonna try and position myself just outside of her cone so that I can jump up to her. Yeah, that works. First step is the hardest. And maybe I should start with a flurry. Nah, nah, I don't have a bonus action. That's right. We'll just kill them. And they're all surprised. Oh my god. Oh, I love it. Can I reach them? Yes. So since everybody's surprised, um, I'll throw the rest of my punches at the biggest guy in the room. Because I'm not taking him out in a single turn, like all these other trumps. Okay, the only two not surprised are kind of far away, so they won't get a chance to swing at me. Oh wait, that one's a caster. <laughs> Fucking missed. What's a bless gonna do? I am the worst curse you've ever seen. A bless will not do anything. Get that one XP. Best be on my way. And run away a bit. And the only one not surprised is the one with Bless. And to be honest, I'm not worried about one goblin. What are they gonna do? Kill me? Since they're all surprised, uh... Yeah, I get to just throw that punch there and leave it. They all don't do anything. Oh dang, she actually hurt me. Bet it'll be the last time she do that though. Get that invisibility. And uh, I'm gonna call it a day on this turn. Just one away and end. You know, being a good monk, it's all about, about patience and knowing your limits. I was gonna try and heal, but time is frozen. Nice try, Dickweed. And <laughs> they're surprised. Uh, come on, let's throw another punch at Ragslin. Just seems the way to go. <laughs> just wasted his rage. That's so funny. I get it though, I'd be pissed too. Somebody just came in and making punks of me and my crew and then just blipping, getting out of existence. That would piss me off. I kind of feel sorry for him. 
Not sorry enough to not do it, but... Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is in the bag. Or is wasting another rage. I mean, I guess this is more accurate barbarian. I mean, how could you not be pissed about all this? Throw my bonus action at Rue. And then I run back down there for my free punch on Ragsley. This isn't the most exciting way to play, I'll admit, but it's it's very satisfying. Just being able to walk into a group of ten people in solo. Then even even without the cape, I mean patient's defense could probably get me by a few turns. But uh that's pretty key intensive. Having to keep that up every round. And then you're limited on your attacks. <laughs> this fool! I'm not gonna take out Ragsden just yet. This is so cheap. Look at him, surprised. That one dude armed with nothing but his hands came in here and wrecked shop. Nah, we're gonna go ahead and finish rags then. Yeah, let him come up. Bro's pissed he has to climb the ladder again. Maybe I'm the villain. Actually, that might be a spoiler. Fuck him up! Ah, bonus action. There we go. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. Yer uh -huh. Just casually punch him from uh five meters away. And yeah, that's it. Technically there's this room with Mentora still left, but it's her and like two or three goblins. So literally the easiest room. I'll go ahead and uh call it a day here. Now you know how to monk. <laughs>